Hello, it's How To Not To and in today's video I will be unboxing my UMI gaming chair which I bought from Amazon for around £164. Um, I, I apologise for not getting this out on Friday as promised, I had some technical problems to sort out. Um, anyway, the chair itself came pretty quick, it arrived a few days before the expected date so that was good and the delivery was free. Why gaming chair? No, I'm not starting a gaming channel or anything like that. The reason I chose this particular chair is because it had everything I wanted in a chair. It looked comfy on the Amazon site. You can recline it and also comes with a leg rest and that's what sold it for me. So let's get it open. So we have the nuts and bolts and the hex key in there, it's all nicely laid out, um, it has all the numbers so easily you can easily identify the screws that you need. These are the armrests and that's the other one there and this is the lumbar support. Let's see what else we have, five wheels and I wonder what's in here. One moment, let me just uh, get it out of the box. Okay, this is the gas lift and it comes with three plastic tubes. Uh, not sure what they're used for, but I'm guessing it's to cover the gas lift. Uh, I do hope there are instructions somewhere in the box. Okay, this is the back connector, which is uh, heavy and feels solid. Don't worry, I will be showing you how to set up the chair later on in the video. Um, this is the backrest which has the logo UMI on the front of the chair and the colour, as you've guessed, is black and red. It did come in other colours, um, blue and black or white and black, but I went for this colour. And that's the base with a red touch on the top there. What's this? This is the mechanism to adjust the height or tilt of the chair. Last but not least is the seat. Okay, so that's that, nothing else in the box. So I don't know how I'm gonna set this up without any instructions. Oh, actually there they are, they're on the back of the seat for you. So let's continue. Okay, let's remove the wrapping. And the seat has a thick padding. The seat thickness is about four inches, that's about 10 centimetres, which is quite a thick chair, so hopefully it will give me hours of comfort. It's quite a wide seat as well. The seat width is 9.5 inches and the length is, um, well, the depth is 21 inches, so plenty of space to um, sit your <coughs> down on. <laughs> and that's the recliner, which is also padded and if I zoom in, you can see the quality of the material, which is made from leather. Uh, it doesn't smell like leather, and uh, that's because it's eco leather, whatever that is. Let me just Google it up. Okay, it says here, eco leather is leather that is manufactured and processed in an environmentally friendly way. So that's good to know, isn't it? Okay, let's move on. Uh, let me just remove this to reveal the backrest, which is also the same thickness as the seat. Or is it? Well, yeah. Um, it's very padded and it has soft material along the inside where the hole opening is. Both the seat and the backrest are quite uh, heavy, so very durable. Um, it doesn't feel cheap, actually. So. <laughs> The height is 8 inches by 21.5 inches and that's at the widest point. This is the lumbar support for your lower back and it has the logo on the front of it. It should sit nicely on your lower back providing you with extra support if you need it. These straps here I'm guessing goes around the chair somehow. Oh, there's a zip along the back, uh, so if you want to replace the padding, you can do that. Oh, the UMI doesn't come with a head pillow support, you have to buy that separately. So here are all the items, and I'm now going to assemble the chair together. So starting with the base of the chair, which is here. 
so just flip it over and insert the five wheels which can be a bit tricky at first but eventually they will go in with a good push so you have to give it some force to slot them in okay got them all in next insert the gas lift into the base hole like so and the four plastic tubes we saw earlier they go over the top of the gas lift so just insert them over the top okay move that out the way next we want to attach the mechanism under the chair so align the holes but do make sure you do make sure the adjustment handles are to your right when you turn the seat round and using four m625 screws and the hex key to tighten <laughs> Okay, you now need to slot the chair into the gas lift cylinder and firmly press into place. So the recliner should slot away underneath the chair. Uh, just flip it over and push under like so. Okay, let me quickly test the chair. So far so good. Yes, it feels okay and secure. Cool. We're now moving on to the backrest, which has a Velcro flap to reveal four holes to, the, to screw in the metal back connector. And you will need to use um, M625 screws. Okay. Then position the bra. Ra, ra, ra. Then position the backrest to the back of the seat, align the two together, but do make sure you have correctly positioned the metal back connector the right way around in the first place. Otherwise it will not slot in like now. So this is not how to do it. This is the correct way to position the back connector. It's not very clear in the instruction manual on which way around to have it. Okay, I have already put the screws in and the backrest should now slot into place and what you want to do now is align the holes using three MI18 screws and three washers to connect them together by using the hex key. Ooh, can you hear that? Someone's building an extension. Do apologise. It's a bit tricky to do this bit on your own, so you may need to um, call someone to hold the top part of the chair while you screw it in. So just make sure that is tightened and secure, which it is. And if you lift the recline mechanism up, it should recline, which can be locked at 90, 110, 125 degrees, or you can recline it all the way back to 135 degrees. So, which I will be testing out later on in the video. I'm now going to attach the armrests by aligning them with the holes and inserting the four M845 screws. The armrests have a thick padding for comfort. And when you adjust the reclining angle of the chair, the armrests will adjust the angle itself at the same time to make you, um, to make the arm more comfortable. Okay, just cover the screws with the plastic caps and that's it. Uh, and that does feel really comfortable. Finally, the lumbar bar is easy to put in. Just insert the bottom straps through the slots of the base of the chair, well, of the backrest, and insert the top straps uh, through the opening at the top. Bring the ends of the straps together and attach into place the lumbar can be adjusted up or down to your liking um, as i mentioned before the chair didn't come with a headrest which is a shame really especially for the price i paid you would expect to have uh, got that as well with the chair at the moment though they have a 30 pound discount voucher you can use when you check out so if you're interested in buying this chair just click on the link below or you can go directly to the amazon site and just type in umi gaming chair um yeah i don't know how long the voucher is going to last so if you do want something like this uh i'd buy it now get 30 pounds off free delivery as well <laughs> i'm not being sponsored for this video so um just want to put that out there 
And that's the chair with the leg rest fully out and it it's easily folds away as well. I'm not sure how sturdy the leg rest is, so I'm, I'm now going to test the chair for you now. But first, just let me give you the whole chair measurements, which is 70 by 67.56 by 119.99 centimetres. The width between the arms is 21.5 inches. That's 54 centimetres. OK, let me test the chair. Mm -hmm. 